Hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Nico and you're watching Determinator Gaming. Today we're playing Kingdom Come Deliverance and coming at you with another one of my standardized armor guides. This one being for the riveted armor. Now this one is a bit more complicated to get through because there are many variants of each piece, but there are three pieces of riveting, uh, riveted armor, which qualifies in my book enough to make a full suit. So we're going to use those three pieces and add together some other pieces to make a awesome suit of armor. Uh, if you're not familiar with these guides, what I do is I go through uh, three layers, the first one being clothing, second one being mail, the third one being the pieces of armor that make it unique. And I like to keep those first two layers as standardized as possible to keep down any variation. And then at the end, I tell you the total price of the outfit, or the total cost, I should say, value. And then the AAR, which stands for Average Armor Rating, which is a rating scale from 0 to 155 to tell you how good the suit of armor is. Uh, I also like to find if I can think of any weapons, if I find any... Uh, that logically makes sense with the outfit. Obviously, first of all, if there's any that are named the same as the outfit, I'll choose those. But if not, I just find something that I think fits with it. So with all that in mind, let's jump right into the first section, which is, of course, weapons. So here, as far as weapons are concerned, uh, since the riveted outfit, I kind of figure is a cheaper slash, you know, kind of something that a ruffian or a bandit would wear. I chose weapons that I think uh, go well with bandits. So I got the black shield, which is obviously a shield used primarily just only by bandits in this game, and the heavy warhammer, which is the best warhammer in the game, at least damage-wise. Uh, but yeah, that does it for weapons for this suit. So starting us off on layer one for the outfit, we have the decorated arming doublet, the decorated black hose, the necklace, padded coif, silver ring, and silver spurs. As always, that's the base layer for this outfit. Next, layer two consists of the male trosses, male coif, and short common hauberk. As always, this is the standard male for these suits of armor. Finally, we come to the third layer, which is the unique layer, of course. And for this suit, the three pieces that make up the namesake are the riveted pauldrons, the riveted gloves, and the riveted bright chosses. Now the pauldrons and chosses have several different variants each, but these ones I chose because they were the highest armor or price, making this suit, you know, the, making the stats better. But then to fill in the blanks, we have the riding boots, as the chosses do not have feet attached, they need something else, so we pick the riding boots, the rider's cuirass, and lastly, the bell-shaped kettle hat to round out this outfit. With all of that in mind, this outfit has a total value of 10,007 groschen and a total AAR, or again, that stands for Average Armor Rating, of 97. Well, that does it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. If not, I guess you should give that dislike button a view. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, go ahead and drop them down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to address them as soon as possible. If you like this content or this game, why don't you go ahead and subscribe and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date on all the quality content that I release here. If you need any help navigating, I've got a helpful little link right here on the screen that'll help you subscribe to this channel, and I've also got one that'll lead you to another one of my fantastic videos. But in any case, thanks for watching, and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.